Hi everyone, my name is Becky Akitunde. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, please subscribe, like, click on the notification bell so that you know each time I upload a new video. On this channel today, I'll show you how to make a saro. That's very jam. So to make a saro, we need yams. So I had peeled and I tried to cut this into cubes as much as I can. So this is the best I can do. So we need palm oil. This is a cup of palm oil. Right here I have bell pepper, scotch bonnet pepper and onion. I had blended it. And this is my dry catfish. I washed and brought out all the bones. And this is a kind of dry fish. I, I just saw it in the African store and I like it. I love the taste. So that's why I want to add it into the asaru. This is my seasoning cubes. I have no a cube of no a cube of maggi sir and i have my crayfish maggi so this is all we need and this is my crayfish i had washed it it's all cleaned and this is it. i'm gonna use quarter spoon of salt so guys let's get cooking so guys the first thing we're gonna do is to pour our cut yams into the pot like so and we're gonna add everything we need. The next thing is to pour the blended peppers, like so. We're gonna pour in our dry fish, like so, and my other smoked fish into it, like that. So, we're gonna add our crayfish. This is my best method to make a salary, trust me. So, the next thing is just to add myself this way. My seasoning cubes are going in there. I'm just trying to break it into smaller pieces so that it's gonna be easy for you to dissolve, you know. So, and lastly, I'm gonna pour the palm oil just at the side like this guys try out this you know doing this when you pour everything from the beginning it um it's it incorporates well into the yam leaving it with a very nice taste so I'm gonna add a little bit of water because I don't have enough water in the blended peppers one more so like so all you have to do now is to just cover your pots so we're gonna cook this for 25 minutes by then your asari will be ready so guys we're cooking this for 25 minutes so guys this is 25 minutes later if you want to know if the yam is all softened just get a fork and put it into it if it goes into it it means it is all soft it is all soft and your asaru is all ready. All you have to do is just to get a wooden spoon like this and just give it a good turn and try breaking it a little bit. Guys, please try this out and leave me some comments in the comment section. Let me know how yours turns out to be okay. Just break as much as you can if you want. It depends on what you like though. I like to break half part of it and leave some yams to chew on, you know. So guys, you see our asawi is all ready. Please make sure you try this out, okay? And leave me some comments in the comment section and tell me how yours turns out to be. So guys, this is the outcome of our asaru. Please guys, try this recipe out. Leave me some comments in the comment section and let me know how yours turns out to be. If you have not subscribed, don't forget to do so. Subscribe, click on the notification bell, give me a thumbs up and I'll see you right in my next video. Thank you so much guys. Bye.